Good day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dan Overboard. My name is Dan and currently we are in Grenada, Grenada. Behind me is the Sky Princess, that's the ship that I work on. Across the way here is the P&O Britannia. Another nice ship under the carnival umbrella. And at the time of filming, it is Christmas time. By the time you watch this, it might be Christmas time, it might not be Christmas time. But for me it is, it's actually a few days away and the mission today is to actually go shopping for a secret Santa present that our guest services team is doing. So I'm on the mission to pick up this gift for somebody. It's a secret, so don't tell anybody. Don't tell Santa. I don't want him to know. tourist type of items and you know labeled things Caribbean and everything like that which of course in the terminal right up the ship that's really what you get I'm trying to be a little more original there is actually a chocolate museum close by which I might just walk to and see what they got there and then maybe to a wine shop and pick up some bottles of wine as well I've already got a card I've got wrapping paper and a bow just need the gifts to go with it Oh, there's one bottle of wine down. I'll probably get a couple bottles. And then another couple gifts as well. There is a spending limit, it's supposed to be $30. So I'll try to stay within that. But a couple bottles of wine and something else would be nice. So we just left the immediate shop, which kind of acts as a terminal as well. And we're gonna have a walk to the chocolate factory, wherever it may be. <laughs> oh, chocolate factory, the chocolate museum. Um, pick up something there, see if there's anything interesting there in terms of gifts. And walk around Granada for a little bit. Alright, so this place is called the House of Chocolate. The Chocolate Museum. It's about a three minute walk from where I am right now. So not far at all. And the weather is interesting today. It's, it's cloudy but it's sunny and then it rains a little bit and there's a sun shower and then it gets dark. And, I'm okay with it. It's nice. It's really nice here. I'm liking this port. This three minute walk has turned into over 10 minutes now. The streets are very interesting to try to figure out. A lot of hills too. happen to be passing the Antilles Hotel, one of the oldest structures in Granada. And the museum is either not open or permanently closed. Ain't that a shame. But on the bright side, the House of Chocolate is right here. Pure. 
there in Eastern Caribbean dollars? One Eastern Caribbean dollar is about 37 cents US. So if you see something for a dollar in Eastern Caribbean, it's about 37 cents. Wow. Four years of economics. Let's go at these two. This one's 75% dark and rich. And this is 82%. I'm not a chocolate company. I don't know what the 100% would be like. I'm gonna put this on the one. So let's buy these. I left the chocolate shop, mission accomplished, bought two bars of chocolate, and I have two bottles of wine as well. I've got everything else ready, so I just gotta wrap it up and then deliver it in a couple days time. And that's that, heading back to the ship. I really like this town. This area of Grenada is really nice. Got that Caribbean vibe to it. And everyone's really, everyone's really casual with each other, really friendly, really like family-like. It was lovely. People would actually wanted to say hi to you, help you. Wish I could stay longer, I really like this area. It's a great spot. And it also still carries that Caribbean, relaxed kind of vibe. Not in a rush, don't need to be or go anywhere. Well, maybe this area, a little bit more, but other areas, I imagine it's a lot less. So now I'm just walking alongside, actually right in the middle of Sky Princess and the Britannia. I'm back on the ship. Yes, we are now back on the ship, back on Sky Princess. And we're gonna sail away in about a half an hour. We're actually hitting six ports in a row on this voyage. Or is it five? Which is not usual, because we're a 10 day voyage this time. And next week is an 11 day voyage where we hit just as many ports. Okay. Ooh wee. That was fun. Great spot. Really enjoyed it. That's the Britannia right there. That's their gangway. Right across the way from us. Very easy to get confused between the ships. I actually had one guest earlier today confused at which ship was theirs. Same lifeboats, same style of ship, same windows on the outside, but quite different if you had a peek to look at it. It's a much older ship, the Britannia, than we are. We're just over three years old. We just turned three. Sky Princess is three years old as of October. So we're just a baby in this ocean, but there are even newer ships than that in our fleet. We've got uh, Discovery Princess, which is just over a year old, I think. And the Enchanted as well, which I think is two, two and a half years. And then uh, next year, well, technically 2024, we've got the Sun Princess coming out, which is bigger and badder than this one. It's some really interesting stuff on this ship. Some ocean firsts, some princess firsts on that ship. Really exciting time. But in any case, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscription. We'll see you in the next one and we'll see you overboard.